The Robin range of LED wash fixtures from Roby's been pretty well established for a while now, mm -hmm. so it's not surprising that Roby's decided it might be time to add something new to the line, pack mm -hmm. it up a bit. Um, this is the Robin 800 LED wash. Mm. Uh, what have we got light source wise? Okay, we've got 37 15 watt RGBW chips in here. Okay, so reasonably well packed for intensity and output. Mm. Uh, there are some things that I do like about this, which is one thing Roby does really well is consistency across a range. So yeah. if you look at things like the 300 and the 600 and the 1200, yeah. Yeah. this fits in the same sort of mold. You've got individual control over the concentric rings of LEDs, mm -hmm. you've got your virtual color wheel, you've got your color temperature support, uh, you've got tungsten emulation at a couple of the lower color temperatures, mm -hmm. wireless DMX, Artnet. Artnet. So look, in that regard, it, it very much fits the mold yeah, yeah. Of, um, of the lead wash family, mm. uh, but they've added something new. Okay, it's the beam shaper. It's actually removable uh, from the front. It's this ring around, very slowly rotating around the front, as you can see. Now, what this does is it, it's effectively creating a, a very subtle dynamic change to your wash. So if you actually look at the front of the fixture as it's rotating, it, it kind of looks like the intensity is changing, mm. uh, but it's not. It's sort of like a polarization. It's just effect. where it's being directed is yeah, changing. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's effectively making your beam sort of asymmetrical. And yeah, yeah. Beam it, shaping, changing shape. Yeah. Now, is that worth the change, or, or is that worth just getting this fixture? For it. Look, no. I think I think the fixture probably stands well enough on its own mm. before you factor in the beam shaper. So, uh, I mean, for me, it's not the most attractive feature. Um, I just like that it's a new version of something that's already, mm. you know, proven itself fairly well. Um, I guess to me, the beam shaper is a bonus. Yeah, fair enough.